Minute make time. Oh, it's minute make time. Come on, everyone. <laughs> it's minute make time. And here's what we're going to make today. A cotton bud sheep. Yeah. Look at him. He's fantastic. Now, to make a cotton bud sheep, you will need some cotton buds, some scissors, a sharp pencil and some air drying clay that you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> I've got them. There's my air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get two lumps of air drying clay like this and then roll them into balls. One's big and one's small. That's good. OK, now we need two cotton buds and very carefully I'm going to cut them in half. There we go. There we go. Right, and with the other two, I'm just going to cut off the fluffy ends. There they go. And then the other two, got to be very careful. There we go. Brilliant. Right, and I've also got a little bit left over there in the middle. Now, if I get that big piece of air drying clay and push the half buds in, these are going to be the legs. Halfway! Halfway already? Oh, no. There we go. Right, that should stand up. Brilliant. There's the body. Oh, come on, stand up, Mr Sheep. There we go. And then with this bit, I'm going to push it in there because that's going to be the neck. Now, if I push the smaller ball on, there's his head. Right, now let's give him on, an ear coach. here. There we go. And an ear on that side. And then give him a little tail. There we go, like that. And now with a sharp pencil, I just need to give him a face. There we go. I've done it. Lucky, lucky, lucky! <laughs> Phew, just made it! And when it's hard and dry, and you've got more than a minute, you can paint it like our little sheep here. And how about trying some other animals? You could try making a pink pig with a cotton bud snout. Or how about a chicken with a cotton bud beak? <laughs> Cotton bud creatures made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll a small and a large ball of clay. Cut two cotton buds in half. And with two more, just cut off the fluffy ends, leaving the middle piece behind. Push four buds into the large ball for feet. Use the middle piece as a neck and stick the head on it. Add two cotton buds for ears, one for a tail, and give it a face with a pencil to finish your cotton bud creature. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time. It's minute make time. Come on. <laughs> Yes, it's Minute Make Time, and here's what we're going to make today. A jumbo lolly stick lizard. What a great way to use up all your old lolly sticks. Now, to make one of these, you will need a jumbo lolly stick. Also, four pipe cleaners, two white stickers, a black pen and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You're having a laugh. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get our lolly stick and then place two of these green pipe cleaners on there by bending them round into leg shapes. There's one and there's two. Right, now we need some sticky tape to fix these in place. There we go. There's one. Some more sticky tape, please. There's the other leg there. Brilliant. OK, now let's give him a tongue. We can just loop that around like that. That's looking good. Faster. Let's get some more sticky tape. Stick that down there like that. Brilliant. Now he needs a tail, so let's just wind that around the fingers like that. And then we bring it out. It's all curly. Brilliant. Let's get some sticky tape and stick it down. And then if we flip him over, he's looking good. Right, you just need to give him some eyes like that. There's one there and one on the other side. And then if I get a black pen, I can make dots on his eyes and dots on the rest of his body. There! I did it! 
That was close! If you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of lolly stick lizards. This one's been made with a different coloured jumbo lolly stick and has felt tip pen spots. Or how about adding some sparkly stars to your lizard with star shaped sequins and glitter? You can make any type of lolly stick lizard you want. Why don't you give it a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Bend two pipe cleaners to make legs and tape them to the back of the lolly stick. Bend another pipe cleaner into a curly tongue and stick that down too. Curl a pipe cleaner into a tail and stick it on. Turn it over and stick on white stickers for eyes and add some details with a black pen to finish your lolly stick lizard. Why don't you try making it in a minute? <laughs> Minute make time! Hey, hey, hey! It's minute make time! <laughs> now, have you ever been stuck for something to wear at a fancy dress party? Well, here's a great problem solver. Oh, it's a fancy dress headdress that's fun to make. Now, to make one of these, you will need lots and lots of coloured feathers, a plastic jewel. Ooh, look at it some stickers, a glue stick, some sticky tape and a strip of card. Now, this strip of card needs to be able to fit all the way around your head. Now, that's quite tricky to do, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You must be joking! Well, thanks a lot, Toki, but I think I can do it. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get the strip and start laying out our feathers. Now, you can use whatever colour feathers you like in whatever order. There we go. Put those ones down there. Now, I'm going to get the green ones. They look nice. That way, there we go, just line them up. And now I think two yellow ones would look nice, either side there. And then how about these ones? Yes, they can go on the end there. Now I need to get a long piece of sticky tape that puts them all in place. There we go, Buster, it's very Buster. long. Going as quick as I can. Right, here we go. Going to stick all the feathers down like that. There we go, there we go. Now if I turn that over, I can stick on my jewel into the middle. There we are, a bit of glue there. There we go. And now let's put some stickers on. There's a sticker there. And a sticker there. I'm running out of time. There we go. And now if I just get a bit of sticky tape, I can fix it in place. I've done it. Look at that. It's a fancy dress headdress. Only just. And if you've got more than a minute, there are some other ideas you could try. Oh, very nice. This one's got pipe cleaners and paper details. Oh, and this one's got twigs and leaves. Fancy dress headdresses made in a minute. Why don't you give it a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Get an adult to help measure a strip of card that fits around your head. Arrange feathers along it and tape them into place. Turn it over and stick on some jewels and stickers. Finally, tape the ends together and your fancy dress headdress is complete. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! Come on, everyone! <laughs> Whoa! Have you ever wanted to make your friends laugh? Well, here's a good idea. Ooh, silly, springy eyes. You can buy them in a shop or you can make your own. Now, to make these springy eyes, you will need four strips of coloured card, two circles of card, a pair of old sunglasses. Hi there. A glue stick, some white stickers, a black pen and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You're having a laugh! 
half? Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? <laughs> let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, I'm going to make a paper spring now by folding over one way with a strip and then the other way and then one way and then the other way and then one way and then the other way. Like this, over and over. There's one spring. Brilliant. And now I need to make another one. There we go. Let's spring into action. There we go. Over there. Oh, I've got to be Basta. quick as I can. There we go. Right, another spring. Now I need to get some glue and put some on the end there and some on the end there and then put on my circles. Halfway there. Halfway already? Oh, no. Right, now, where are my circles? There they are. There's one and there's two. Now, these are going to be the eyes, so I need to get a black pen and put a circle in the middle. There we are. There's a pupil there. And there's one. Brilliant. Right, I need to get a loop of sticky tape like this and put them on the glasses. There's one loop. Now I need another one. Ten seconds. Oh, no, I'm running out of time. There's that one there. There's one eye. And there's the other one. I've done it. Only just. And if you've got more than a minute, you can make some other silly springy eyes. Ooh, very funny. It looks like I've got robot eyes. Ooh, or how about dizzy eye glasses? The sillier the better. Silly springy glasses. Why don't you make them in a minute? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take four coloured strips of paper and fold them together like this to make two paper springs. Glue on two coloured circles and then put stickers with dots on for eyes. And then stick your springs onto your glasses to finish your silly, springy eyes. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? It's minute make time. Come on, everyone. Hey, it's minute make time. And here's what we're going to make today. A one-eyed monster. Aye, aye. Now, to make this one-eyed monster, you will need a feather, a pen, some scissors, some green card and a googly eye and some air-drying clay that you can get from an art and craft shop. <laughs> I've got them. Right, I'm going to put my air drying clay down there at the moment and leave it in the bag. But here's my googly eye. Put that down there. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, I think I can, Toki. I will have to move very quickly. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, I'm going to get one big lump of clay and roll it into a ball and then squash it into the body shape of my monster. Then I'm going to get two smaller lumps of clay and roll them into small sausages. These are going to be the monster's legs. There we go. There are the legs and there's the body. OK, looking good. Right, I'm going to get a feather now and stick that in the top there and then give my monster an eye. Now we need to give him some arms, don't we? So for that, we can draw those on the side of this card here. There's one arm, there's two arms, and now I'm going to cut these out. Be careful! Don't worry, Toki, I'm being careful. Here we go. Oh, I'm running out of time. Right, I'm going to cut round here. There we go. Come on now. Don't fail me, scissors. Don't fail me. Come on, slow coach. I'm going as quick as I can, Toki. There we go. There's one in there and one in there. Ah, I've done it. Lucky, lucky. Hey, that was lucky. And if you've got more than a minute, you can paint your monster a nice bright colour. How about an orange stripey one? You can even make one with two eyes, like this blue spotty one. Don't I look great? One-eyed monsters made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Squash clay into a ball for the monster's body. Roll two sausage shapes for the legs and stick them onto the body. 
stick a feather on top and then stick on the googly eye. Draw two arms on the coloured paper, cut them out and finally stick the arms into your one-eyed monster. Why don't you try making it in a minute? <laughs> Minute Make Time! It's Minute Make Time! <laughs> yes, it's Minute Make Time. Now, have you ever wanted your own pet, but you haven't been allowed one? Well, how about this? Look, it's your very own paper pet fish in his own tank. Now, to make this, you will need some scissors, a black pen, an empty plastic pot, some green tissue paper, some orange paper or card, some sticky tape and some play sand that you can get from a toy shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> I've got it. There we go, there's our play sand. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock! Right, let's put our play sand into our plastic pot like that. Let's shake it all out. Fantastic. And then, put this to one side, let's draw our fish. OK, he's going to look a bit like that. Let's give him a tail. Fantastic! An eye. A mouth and another little fin there. Now let's cut this out very carefully. But scissors are sharp, remember? So be very careful. There we go. Faster, there. faster! Now, our fish is nearly ready, but we need to stick him into the tank. So let's make a little sticky roll of sticky tape. Just by rolling it up like that. There we go. Fantastic. And then this will stick to our fish and he will pop into the tank. Fantastic. Now I just need to tear this very quickly, this green tissue paper, like that. And if I bunch it up together, it makes the weed to go in the back. There! Time! He's great, isn't he? And if you've got more than a minute, you could try different ideas. How about doing more than one fish? Or perhaps one with a pet crab? You'll have to be nippy to make that one. A paper pet in its very own tank made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Pour some play sand into a see-through plastic pot. Draw a fish and cut it out. Stick a rolled up bit of tape on the back of the fish and push it into the sand. Tear some green tissue paper for seaweed. Give it a twist and push it into the sand to finish your paper pet fish tank. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! Come on! It's minute make time and here's what we're going to make today. Look at this! It's a hilarious hairband! A joke arrow through the head! It'll really make your friends laugh. Now, to make one of these, you will need two thin strips of brown card, some grey card, some red card, a hairband, some scissors, a pen, some glue and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance! Well, let's find out! I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Right, let's get the red card and draw two sloping rectangles that face each other like that. This is going to be the back of our arrow. Now, I'm going to have to cut this out. Be careful! Don't worry, Toki, I will. Right, there we go. And like that, and like that. There we go. <laughs> and now I need to cut out something from the grey. That's a triangle shape. Faster! Faster! I'm going as quick as I can. There we go. Now I need some glue and these strips here. 
Right, come on glue. There we are. And then some glue there. And then some glue on this side there. There we go. Right, now I need some tape and the hairband. Right, let's put that bit there and then just fit it around here if we can. There we go. Oh, I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done. Now we need this bit here, around here like that. I did it! Only just... Oh, phew! Hilarious hairbands made in a minute. And if you've got more than a minute, you could try different designs. Ooh. Oh, look at my beautiful hair bunches and pink bows. Ooh. Or how about cow horns and cow ears? Very moving. <laughs> Hilarious hairbands made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Oh, here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Draw two sloping rectangle shapes facing each other on the red card. Draw a triangle on the grey card and cut everything out. Glue them to your thin brown strips of card and then tape the brown strips to the headband. Then your funny headband is complete. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Hey, it's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> it's minute make time, and here's what we're going to make today. A bookworm! The perfect fellow to mark where you are in a book or a favourite page. Now, to make a bookworm, you will need a strip of card, some scissors, an old rubber glove, some cotton wool, <laughs> a glue stick, some sticky tape, and some googly eyes. No, not these googly eyes. The sort of googly eyes that you find in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Right. Here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our old rubber glove and some scissors and very carefully cut off two of the fingers like this. There we go. Very careful. Nice. And then just give them a little snip. Right, now let's fill these with cotton wool. Here we go. There's a bit in that finger there. In you go. And then we need a bit in this finger here. There we go. Right, stuff it. I'm going to leave a little bit at each end because that's where we're going to put this, our strip of card. Now, if I bunch it all together there and get a bit of sticky tape, I can stick it down on that side. And then another bit of sticky tape for this side. Here we go. Bunch it together there. Faster! Faster! Stick down. There we go. And if you turn it over, yeah, it's looking good, looking good. Right. Now, I need some glue on this side here. There we go. Where I can put the two googly eyes. There's one and there's two. There, I've done it. That was close. Phew, that was close. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try some other bookworms. Ooh. Like this one here with spots. <laughs> or this one with glittery stripes. Or how about this one with fur? Bookworms made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cut two fingers off a washing up glove. Stuff them with cotton wool and stick both ends to the piece of card. Finally, stick on the googly eyes to finish your bookworm. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! It's minute make time! <laughs> yes, it's minute make time, and here's what we're going to make today. A pine cone creature. Look, it's a pine cone bird. Now, to make one of these, you will need a black pen, a glue stick, of course, a pine cone, 
some coloured card, some scissors, some feathers and some googly eyes that you can find in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Right, here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Let's get our coloured paper and draw a bird's head with a long neck like that and also a beak. And let's cut these out very carefully with scissors. Now remember, scissors are sharp, so you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. There we go, there's the beak. And let's cut out the head very carefully, all the way along and round and down the other side. There we go, right, let's get some glue and stick the beak on. There it is, and now he needs some eyes. All right, come back here, you, that's it. There's one, and there's two. Oh, there we go. Right, now we need the pine cone, and hopefully that will stick in there, which it does. Now we need some feathers. Let's get some feathers stuck in. There we go, there's one in there. Ten one seconds. in there. Go on, in you go. One in there, and one in there. And just about enough time for one more. There! <laughs> Phew, that was close. But if you've got more than a minute, you can make other sorts of pine cone creatures. This one is made with a different coloured card and spotty feathers. Or how about this pine cone dog with a tail, neck and legs made out of pipe cleaners? <coughs> all right, all right, keep your cone on. Pine cone creatures made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Draw your bird's body and beak on two pieces of coloured paper. Then carefully cut them out. Stick the beak onto the body. Add the googly eyes. And finally, stick your head and the feathers into the pine cone to finish your pine cone creature. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Wow! It's minute make time! Come on, everyone! <laughs> yes, it's minute make time, and this is what we're going to make today. A flappy ear card! <laughs> Look at that, it's from me. <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need a square of coloured card, three white stickers, a pair of scissors and a black pen. <laughs> now, do you think it's possible to make this <laughs> in just one minute? You're having a laugh. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get our square of paper and fold it in half like that there. And then with our scissors, we can cut along the fold. Be careful. I'm being careful, Toki. There we go. This will give us two smaller triangles. Now, if we fold both corners down like that and like that, we get our two flappy ears. Now I'm going to draw a nose and two eyes with my black pen onto my white stickers. There's the nose. That's just coloured in completely in black, that one. And then the eyes are two dots. There's one and there's two. Right, let's put these on very quickly, if we can. There we go. Right, come on then, nose. Here we go. There's our nose. Brilliant. Now we need one eye. There's one eye. There it is. There. Right, let's give him a face. There, 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 and there, and there! I've done it! Only just! Oh, yeah, that was close. But this ear card is for you, Toki, so I'm going to write my name here. <laughs> there you go, Toki! You're too kind. And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of flappy cards. This one's a rabbit with big teeth and a little pink nose. And how about this spotty pig with a big snout? 
Ear cards made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a square piece of coloured card and fold it in half. Then cut along the fold to make two triangle shapes. Fold down the top corners of one of the triangles to make ears. Put on stickers for a nose and eyes. Add details with a black pen and then write your message behind the ear on your ear card. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Hey, it's minute make time! Come on, everyone! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A straw rocket. Three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. Now, to make a straw rocket like this one here, you will need a square of flame-coloured tissue paper, a circle of tissue paper, two triangles of coloured paper, a glue stick and a drinking straw. Mmm, tasty. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You're on another planet. <laughs> That's true, Toki, but I still think I can do it. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, the first thing to do is to get our square of tissue paper and tear out the flame for our rocket. There we go, there's a strip there. And now get one of the triangles. I'm going to put some glue here so I can stick on our flame. Oh, I've got to be quick. I've got to be quick. There we go. Right, and now I'm going to turn this over and get the circle. Put some glue on that as well. This is going to decorate there we are, the triangle's decorated now. Halfway! Halfway already? Oh no, I'm going to run out of time. Right, I'm going to put that down there, the straw's in place. Now I need to put on plenty of glue. Oh, I need some more glue. Come on, glue, don't fail me now. There we go, put that round there and some glue round there. Oh no, not long now. I need my other triangle to seal it all in place. There we go. Ten seconds, oh no! If I stick it all down like that, I have done it! I did it, Toki! Only just! That was close, Toki, but here it is. My straw rocket made in a minute. Shall we launch it? OK, here we go, everyone. Three, two, one. We have blast off! Whoa! And if you've got more than a minute, you could make some other straw rockets. This one's a star shape with a silver trail and glitter on it. Look at this one, too. This one's a superhero with a cape. Super Mr. Maker to the rescue! Whoa, look at him go. Why don't you blast off with a straw? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. To make a straw rocket, tear some tissue paper and glue it to one of your paper triangles. Turn it over and glue on a different coloured paper circle. Put some glue down two edges of the other triangle. Sandwich the straw between the two halves and blow the straw, launching your straw rocket into the air. Why don't you make it in a minute? Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on, everyone! <laughs> and here's what we're going to make today. A jazzy pot that holds a lot. Perfect for all your bits and pieces. Now, to make a jazzy pot like this, you will need a plastic tray, lots of bits and pieces like sequins, beads and small toys, a small plastic plant pot, and a rolling pin. Plus, we will need some air-drying clay that you can find in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> I've got it. There's the air-drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. 
Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get our lump of air drying clay and roll it into a flat sausage shape. There we go. Just keep rolling. Roll and roll and roll like that. This is looking good. Now let's get our plant pot and cover it in the clay. Here we go. We try and cover the whole thing like this and then squidge it down on the bottom there and then overlap it and push everything down to make a pot shape. There we go, this is looking good. Halfway there. Halfway already? Oh no. There we go, that's nice. And when it's completely covered in clay, we can cover it in the bits and pieces. Get plenty on and you just push them all into place like this. You can do it with your hands like this. You can use whatever bits you like. Ten seconds! Oh, ten seconds to go. Just keep pushing. Got a few seconds left. There we go. Here's my jazzy pot. Fantastic. Just in time. Phew, that was close. And when it's dry and you've got more than a minute, you could cover it in gloopy PVA glue to keep all the bits in place. Yeah, why not try a really big one with a big plant pot? This one is covered in buttons and it's great for keeping your scissors and paintbrushes in. Why not try nuts, bolts and washers? Perfect for your felt tip pens. Jazzy pots made in a minute. Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll the air drying clay out with a rolling pin. Wrap it around the plant pot so it's totally covered. Then roll it in a tray with all your bits and pieces to make a fantastic jazzy pot. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? It's Minute Make Time! <laughs> it's Minute Make Time and here's what we're going to make today. A pencil bug. Aye aye, Mr Bug. <coughs> now, to make a pencil bug, you will need two long pieces of wool, four short pieces of wool, a sharp pencil, plus some googly eyes and some air drying clay. Now, you can find them in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> I've got them. Right, here are the googly eyes and I'm going to leave the air drying clay in the bag for the minute. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Oh, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get two lumps of air drying clay, one slightly bigger than the other. There we go. I'm just going to rip a little bit off the big bit and make a smaller ball in one hand and a smaller ball in the other. Yep, and put those to the side. Now, these are going to be the head and the body. So let's squidge those together like that. There we are. The head goes on top. Now I'm going to give our pencil bug some hair like this. I'm going to push it in with the pencil. There we go. Now, if I turn it over, there's a one arm on the there, that side. Give him an arm on the other side as quickly as I can. Right, now he needs some legs, doesn't he? He needs some legs, so let's give him two. There we go, let's give him some legs there. There's one leg and there's the other. Right, he's looking good, he's looking good. Let's give him some eyes, just squidge those in. There's one and there's two. And now we can give him feet with these smaller balls there. There's one and there's two. And then we can just push a pencil in the bottom. That was close. That was close. And when your pencil bug is dry and you've got more than a minute, you could paint it a nice bright colour and maybe cover it in gloopy PVA glue to keep everything stuck together. Plus, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a stripy orange and red one? You can even make one with lots of arms. Ah. Pencil bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. 
Roll two large balls and two small balls of the clay. Put the large balls together to make a head and a body. Push in the wool with a pencil to make the hair, arms and legs. Stick on your googly eyes. Add the two small balls for feet. Now you can stick your pencil bug onto your pencil. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! It's minute make time! <laughs> it's minute make time and here's what we're going to make today. A surprise spring bug! It's a bouncy <laughs> bug that pops up to say hello. Now, to make one of these, you will need an old plastic pot with a lid, like one of these here, any shape or size will do, two different coloured strips of card, a pom-pom, a glue stick, and we'll also need some googly eyes that you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> I've got them. There are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the cork! Right, let's get our two strips and put them together like that in an L shape. And then get some glue and stick them together. Now, we're going to make a paper spring by folding over one way and then the other way and then one way and then the other way all the way along until we've got our spring. Right, I've got to go as quick as I can. Now, this can be a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Faster! I'm going as quick as I can, Toki! There we go. Now, if I put a big dollop of glue on the end here, like that, and then we can put our pom-pom on top there. Now, let's give him some eyes. There we go. There's one eye there, and then there's another eye. Let's stick him on. There we go. There. Now, if we get our pot and put some glue in there, we can put our surprise bug inside and close the lid. Only just... Phew! That was close. Now let's have a look inside. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. I knew you was in there, really. And if you've got more than a minute, you can make some other surprise spring bugs. This one's got three eyes and eyelashes made out of paper. Or you could put two bugs in one box for double the surprise. A surprise spring made in a minute. Give it a go. Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take two strips of card and glue them together in an L shape. Fold the strips over each other again and again and again until they make a spring. Stick the pom-pom on the end of the spring and stick on two googly eyes. Put some glue in the bottom of the pot, push the spring in firmly and close the lid on your surprise spring bug. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! Come on, everyone! <laughs> It's minute make time, and here's what we're going to make today. A wobbly clown! Whoa there, wobbly clown! Stop it, you're making me dizzy. Now, to make a wobbly clown, you will need a piece of white card or paper, a black pen, a small pom-pom, two pieces of tissue paper, some scissors, a ball of modelling clay, a glue stick, and we'll also need a plastic egg that opens into two halves and some googly eyes. Now, you can get these from an art and craft shop or a toy shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> right, here we go. I've got my googly eyes. There they are there. And somewhere, oh, here it is. Here's our plastic egg that opens in half. Fantastic. Right, I'll put that back over here for now, because now it's time to do it. Do you think we can make this in just one minute? Not 
a chance! Well, I think I can do it, Toki, but I'm going to have to move quickly. Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Yes, let's! Right, let's get our plastic egg, move it over here and put some modelling clay in the middle. Now it wobbles. Now let's give our clown some googly eyes with some glue. There we go, there's one. Right, let's stick that one on. There we go. And now there's another googly eye about to go on. Come here, that's it. Now he needs a nose and that's the pom-pom. Let's put plenty of glue on there. Oh, he's wobbling around everywhere. Now he needs a mouth. So for that we need the card. Halfway! Halfway already? Oh dear. There's the mouth, like that. There we go. Right, let's cut this out very carefully. Round we go. Oh, round we go with the mouth. Round there and round there. Great. OK, that one goes on there. And now he's got a mouth, all he needs is some hair. So I've put some glue there and some glue there. And then scrunch these two bits up here. You've got yourself a wobbly dummit! <laughs> Only just! That was close, Toki. But do you know if we had more than a minute, we could have made some other ideas? How about a little chick using a yellow egg with an orange beak? Or a pig using a pink egg with a paper snout? Or you could make an out-of-this-world alien. Why don't you make a wobbly clown or one of his friends? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. To make your wobbly clown, press a small ball of modelling clay into the bottom half of your plastic egg. Stick on two googly eyes, stick on a pom-pom for a nose, draw a mouth on some paper, cut it out and stick it on. Scrunch up two balls of tissue paper for the hair and stick it on to finish your wobbly clown. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> right, it's minute make time, and here's what we're going to make today. A colourful keyring charm. Perfect to hang on your bag, belt or lunchbox. Now, to make one of these, you'll need a pipe cleaner, some plastic coloured beads, a key ring and a small plastic toy or button with a loop on the back of it like this. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock! Right, let's get our pipe cleaner and feed on our small plastic toy like that. That's the rhino. Let's put him round there once or twice. There we go. Brilliant. Now let's turn it over like that and start feeding on our plastic beads. I'm going to start with this small dark green one like that. There we go. And then put on one of these slightly larger light green ones. There we go. You can use whatever colour beads you like and whatever shape and size. Halfway there! Oh, no, they're going everywhere. I've got to be... Oh, no, I need a big one now. That's it. That goes on there, like that. Now another small one. Oh, dear, I'm running out of time. There we go. And one more big one should do it, I think. All right. Oh, no, I'm running out of time. Right, now I need the key ring loop like that. And then I just need to loop it round and round and round and round like that. There we go. A fantastic key ring charm. Time. Now all we need to do is attach it to our backpack or our lunchbox. And if you've got more than a minute, you could make a football keyring charm in your favourite team's colours and a football button. Or even a multicoloured key charm with a star at the bottom. A brilliant keyring bag charm made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Attach an old toy or button to the pipe cleaner, then feed lots of beads onto the pipe cleaner from the other end and twist on your keyring loop to finish your keyring charm. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Ooh. <laughs> 